Hey YouTube. Let's see, I need to turn this. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is uh, uh, June the 13th, Thursday, and uh, been getting a request to do a little update. I'll show you the one that has the most fruit on it right now. It's this Cherokee Purple, and it's got just a tremendous number of uh, tomatoes. All kind of strange and weirdly shaped, but uh, it's doing its job. Got it split into uh, two lines, and as you can see, the lines go all the way up to a two to six, about nine feet off the ground. And the plant actually comes out of the bucket about two feet off the ground. So, you know, I'm only going to get about seven feet of uh, vine right there on all of all of these. It gets a little bit less as it go along, but anyway, just walk through and show you some of the fruit. And this is another Cherokee Purple, as you can see. It's just loaded down and uh, very, very pleased. Uh, can't wait to eat one of them and see how it, what it's like. See what we got here. Another Cherokee purple. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? This is probably the shortest plant that I have that's bearing. And I think one reason it's short is it's putting all of it into production right here. I don't know how many tomatoes there are, but they're a bunch. Uh, and these next four are Rutgers. Oh my goodness, look at all the Rutgers, lots of them, I mean lots of them, it's kind of hard to get a look at some of this stuff, but anyway, take a look, and you'll see yourself, and those are Rutgers, oh, they're blooming, it's getting a little hot here in Arkansas, it reached about 95 today, uh, not real sure what this is, I believe it's a Rutgers, but oh my goodness, that may be the biggest tomato I have right there. But uh, hi, Geo. How are you doing, buddy? Kitty cat's out here checking things out. Uh, don't know what this one is, but well, the plant itself is, is super healthy, and got a little some kind of an aphid or something right there. But uh, we did have some uh, tobacco hornworms coming on, and I was quite concerned about them, but. Somebody introduced me to BT. I'd heard about it once before, I hadn't used it, and I just didn't want to spray chemicals on my uh, tomato plants. And uh, take a look here at the reservoir since we're standing here, and uh, that little step there coming over that pipe. But this is its uh, uh, evening feed. Uh, we're down about, mm, I'd say, seven gallons, so that's how much it's used. For from this morning, seven gallons since this this morning, and it's already done for this evening. Right here behind me is a probably the tallest plant. Let's see, it's at least a foot taller than me, and I'm almost six foot. So this this is seven feet off the ground. Uh, I'll be having a, needing a ladder to pick these, but let me just show you the fruit on this plant. Anybody guess what it is? Oh my goodness! Look at all of these. Look at them. I mean, lots and lots and lots of uh, super sweet 100s. That's what this is. I mean, they're just all over the